Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Exciting Archaeology News. Today, we embark on a fascinating journey through time and space, exploring archaeological finds that have reshaped our understanding of the past. Get ready to delve into discoveries that transcend mere artifacts. They tell tales that challenge our historical perspectives. But before we embark on this journey, don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button to stay tuned for more riveting tales from the past. In the coastal town of Yoichi, Japan, lies the hidden gem known as Fugapi Cave. A rare archaeological find, it stands as one of only two such sites in the country. Discovered in 1950 by a curious 15-year-old exploring the shores, the cave unveils ancient petroglyphs, portraying horned and winged figures, boats, marine life, and fish. These intricate engravings are attributed to late Jomon culture, flourishing in Hokkaido from the 5th to 7th centuries. The cave's unveiling has ignited scholarly debates, with some proposing that these symbols may constitute a lost ancient script, the Jomon script. Conversely, others argue that they depict shamanistic rituals. Preserved within a sizable glass capsule, functioning as a museum, the petroglyphs draw parallels discovered in the Russian Far East, associated with the ancient Ainu culture. Fugapi Cave not only serves as a captivating glimpse into Japan's ancient heritage, but also kindles ongoing discussions surrounding the origins and interpretations of these mysterious carvings. Does it represent a form of ancient writing, or is its significance more elusive? The answers remain shrouded in the mysterious beauty of Fugapi Cave. In the heart of Madhya Pradesh, India, near Vidisha, lies the Udaigiri Caves, a collection of 20 rock-cut caves carved during the early 5th century. Nestled in the Udaigiri Caves, these rock-cut marvels in close proximity to the city of Vidisha are steeped in history, showcasing some of India's oldest surviving religious iconographies. Notably, they stand as the sole physical connection to a ruler from the Gupta Empire in the entire country. Designated as a protected monument, the Udagiri Caves unveil a captivating narrative. Among the notable features is a colossal relief sculpture depicting Vishnu as Vira, a sight that echoes through time. Yet, it is not only the artistry that captivates. Historians emphasize the significance of Gupta period inscriptions adorning the cave walls. These inscriptions hailing from the reigns of Chandragupta II and Kumaragupta weave a tale of a bygone era. Of the 20 caves, 19 pay homage to Hindu deities and beliefs, while the 20th is a testament to Jainism, marking it as the world's oldest known Jain inscription site. The Udagiri Caves, with their ancient echoes and divine imprints, serve as a poignant reminder of India's rich cultural tapestry. In 1783, an anonymous admirer of Queen Marie Antoinette commissioned a remarkable timepiece designed by the renowned watchmaker Abraham Louis Briguet, hailed as the watchmaker of the Queens. The exquisite pocket watch, valued at over $30 million, is a testament to horological mastery, featuring a full perpetual calendar, a jumping hour hand, and an impressive 23 complications. Crafted from 823 parts, it is encased in 18-karat gold adorned with sapphires on every surface. Tragically, Marie Antoinette never laid eyes on this masterpiece. Although ordered during her lifetime, its intricate design meant it took 34 years to complete after her passing. The watch's history is as captivating as its craftsmanship, changing hands numerous times before vanishing from a museum in 1983, only to reappear mysteriously in 2006. This tale adds an air of mystique to an already fascinating historical period, underscoring the watch's unparalleled artistry. In November of 2016, a team of archaeologists unearthed a colossal Gallo-Roman villa near the village of Longay Surance in Brittany, France. This remarkable discovery revealed a U-shaped complex of buildings surrounding a vast courtyard spanning over 16,000 square feet. Dating back to the first century, the strategic location of the villa with its breathtaking view of the Rance River adds a touch of romance to this historical narrative. The site, continuously expanded from its initial construction, remained in use until the fourth century. Among the impressive structures, the bath complex stands out, covering more than 4,300 square feet. It boasts amenities like a warm pool, a cold pool, a footbath, and a caldarium with a sauna and a hot tub. 
Despite the opulence suggested by these features, the absence of identifying materials raises intriguing questions about the inhabitants. Historians speculate they belong to a noble family, yet details remain elusive, shrouding the villa's occupants in mystery. In the heart of Jerusalem's Homos neighborhood, within the Ghat ancient aqueduct, a remarkable archaeological find has unfolded. Unveiled is a 300-meter segment of an ancient aqueduct from the late Second Temple period, marking the lengthiest upper-level aqueduct ever unearthed in Jerusalem. Constructed between 37 BCE and 70 CE, this engineering marvel served a crucial purpose, transporting water from Bethlehem Springs to Jerusalem. This discovery holds significance beyond its historical dimensions. It reveals itself as the exclusive water source for the Roman elites. Even after the completion of the Second Temple, the Romans continued to rely on this aqueduct. Intriguingly, the existence of this waterway posed challenges during the assault on the Second Temple, prompting the Romans to strategize to ensure its preservation while accomplishing their mission. Adding a touch of serendipity to this revelation, 25 coins were discovered embedded in the aqueduct's plaster, possibly serving as tokens of good fortune. Beyond its engineering prowess, this find opens a window into the social and cultural intricacies of a bygone era. The Israel Antiquities Authority is abuzz with excitement, recognizing the historical richness encapsulated within this ancient aqueduct. In a surprising revelation at the University of Aberdeen in Scotland, a distinctive timepiece has emerged. Not a watch, but rather a pair of petite shoes with a fascinating history. Discovered within the university's collection, donated by Dr. Robert Wilson, an avid world traveler and university alum, these shoes belong to none other than Pauline Bonaparte, the younger sister of Napoleon Bonaparte. Measuring a mere 8 inches in length and 2 inches in width at the ankle, these meticulously preserved shoes are crafted from leather and silk, intricately adorned with mauve silk strips at the toe and a delicate pink ruffle bordering the tongue. They give witness to a bygone era's craftsmanship. Pauline Bonaparte, renowned for her beauty and infamous love affairs, shares a connection with Dr. Wilson, a confidant and close personal friend. A revealing entry in Wilson's diary hints at a profound relationship between the two, suggesting that these shoes were a personal gift from Pauline to Wilson. Now, for the first time, these captivating relics grace the public eye at the University of Aberdeen's King's Museum. Beyond the historical significance within the Bonaparte family saga, this discovery provides a poignant glimpse into the intimate exchanges of elite society during that era, showcasing the personal touch embedded in such gifts. In a remote stretch of the Chattooga River in Oconee County, North Carolina, USA, an extraordinary find unfolded. An impeccably preserved dugout canoe believed to exceed 200 years in age. Discovered by local Boers in the fall of 2020, the canoe's retrieval by the Chattooga Conservancy took place in July of 2022. Heading the Conservancy, Buzz Williams draws parallels between this canoe and a similar discovery in 2004, carbon dated to approximately 1740. Evidencing European influence through distinct axe marks and a rugged finish, the craftsman's identity remains elusive. The presence of an iron axe marks hints at post-European contact construction, leaving open the possibilities of Native American or European origin. Adding to the mystery, a wrought iron nail was found at one end of the boat. This 32-foot-long canoe, in exceptional condition, stands as a significant archaeological marvel. Such intact mountain watercraft are a rarity, and stumbling upon one of this caliber in the untamed Chattooga River is an exceedingly uncommon occurrence. In our journey of remarkable discoveries, our focus turns to the captivating Tabali petroglyphs in Kazakhstan. Designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Tanbali, meaning Seven Rivers, unfolds as a rich tapestry of 5,000 petroglyphs, settlements, and burial grounds. Nestled in Zisu, it stands as a testament to the historical evolution of Kazakhstan's nomadic ancestors. These petroglyphs, spanning from the Bronze Age to the 19th and 20th centuries, showcase a remarkable fusion of naturalistic styles and intricate subjects, ranging from solar deities to camels. Beyond mere carvings, Ten Bali holds a significance that transcends national borders, meeting UNESCO's criteria of outstanding universal value. Yet, the mystery persists. Are these ancient depictions religious symbols, historical records, or something more elusive? 
Despite the scrutiny of the world's best experts over many years, the definitive answer remains elusive. The myriad of artists and the vast expanse of time may have obscured any original message these petroglyphs sought to convey, leaving us with an intriguing mystery echoing through the ages. Venturing from the French coast and the enigmatic fort spanning the British Isles to the Irish shores of Galway, we encounter the captivating Dune Angasa. This Iron Age fort, steeped in mystery, possesses an ethereal essence, as recounted by 19th century historian John O'Donovan. Overwhelmed with emotion during his visit, O'Donovan discarded his umbrella and fell to the ground, caught in a moment of ecstatic revelation. Despite the allure, pinpointing the exact construction date of Dun Angasa remains elusive for archaeologists who estimate its age at approximately 3,100 years. Occupied and expanded over successive centuries, the fort stands as a testament to the ancient past. Adjacent to Dun Angasa lies a Neolithic tomb, although no direct correlation between the tomb and the fort has been established. Preserved meticulously to retain its original form, Dun Angasa stands devoid of added safety measures on its walls. Visitors are cautioned about the perilous cliff edge that the fort precariously overlooks, emphasizing the unyielding commitment to preserving its raw authenticity. Welcome to the intriguing world of the Dresden Codex, a title that may mislead with its German-sounding name, but its roots extend far beyond Europe. This ancient artifact traces its origins to pre-Columbian Mexico, likely crafted in or around Chichen during the 11th century. Its visual allure aside, a closer examination raises intriguing questions. Some scholars, delving deep into the Codex's intricacies, harbor concerns of a chilling nature. They propose a haunting possibility that this relic may foretell the date, time, and natural events leading to the demise of human civilization on Earth. Yet, a less ominous perspective sees it as a celestial map, finely tuned to predict solar and lunar eclipses. The Codex meticulously outlines the movements of celestial bodies visible to the naked eye during its creation, including the Moon, Sun, and Venus. While some dismiss the doomsday prophecies, skeptics may find themselves in an uncomfortable position if, in around 80 years, cataclysmic events unfold as predicted. The question lingers, is anticipating the end of the world a truth one would truly wish to grasp? The forbidden Dresden Codex, with its dual nature of beauty and foreboding, beckons us to ponder the mysteries it may hold. As we conclude this enthralling journey through the annals of time, we've delved into archaeological wonders that defy mere artifact status, revealing stories that challenge our understanding of history. Each discovery leaves an indelible mark on our exploration of the past. Join us in the next chapter as we continue to unearth hidden narratives beneath the sands of time. Archaeology, with its tales of triumph, controversy, and the mystery, beckons us to explore, question, and unravel the mysteries within. Subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to embark on this exhilarating journey with us. Stay curious, dear viewers, as your own epic adventure awaits.